Strong DM helps with over provision scenarios, trying to get you closer to that right size level of access and authorization by establishing a universal approach to authorization that really works across cloud, across on-prem uh, and uh, hybrid situations and gives you a way of identifying and then configuring exactly, and in many cases, just in time, exactly that right level of authorization to perform a given action. Uh, a pretty common example of this exists in databases where um, it might be very common to read information, but it might be written only occasionally. In those scenarios, the standing or even frequent level of access might restrict a given connection to be able to read some records, but then the moment you need to escalate to perform an update, uh, then you're gonna be able to subject that action to authorization, including multi-party authorization, and obviously um, uh, capabilities like MFA. Um, and that's going to help to tailor the profile of that user or that workload or that group to something that's much more appropriate to the way the workload is actually happening uh, while limiting the amount of time that that high level of privilege exists out there in the wild. So, so oftentimes the before state is a story of uh, for n different system types, we have n different approaches to authorization, okay? And so this might mean uh, one regime that's responsible for some on-prem workloads, one regime that's responsible for, uh, let's say, something in AWS, and yet another regime that's responsible for uh, some workloads in Azure. We would hope that some of the existing IDP and identity tools and governance tools would provide sufficient uh, coordination to create that unified authorization environment. But the reality is many of those tools sort of end at the role or group granularity. Now, it's absolutely necessary to go much, much further than that when you're talking about right-sizing specifically these highest privileged roles. So for these highest privileged act actions in the system, you need to make sure that those actions are taken with additional constraints related to uh, the device that those actions are being taken by, the MFA status of the authentication, um, and even the workflow sufficiency and completion of, for example, a multi-party authorization. Um, that's the level of precision that uh, we tend to get into while also creating that uniformity so that, for example, appealing for access regardless of what cloud uh, goes through the same workflow and then uh, receiving that access and then the actions that a user or workload takes are then auditable, again, in a universal way across any resource type in any of the cloud or non-cloud environments.